At a simulated village in Fort Hunter, Liggett, California, evaluators set a trap for an incoming unit to certify their combat readiness during the 91st Training Division's Combat Support Training Exercise, CSTX-91. Army Sergeant Stacy Harlow is the lead observer controller trainer for this site and works with Sergeant Justin Purchase, who leads the opposing force, or OP-4, for this mission. Basically out here to make sure soldiers make mistakes out here and not overseas. Hey, whoop, you're down. You got a 50 cal right back. Give them a, a morale booster showing the stuff that they did good and continue to do, but also show them the mistakes that they're making so they can correct them. This kind of exercise takes careful planning and coordination, both to provide realism and effective experience for the soldiers' training, and to ensure the safety of all involved when using the pyrotechnics that simulate enemy explosive devices. The OCTs and OP4s set up the training scenarios based off their and other soldiers' collective experiences in Iraq and Afghanistan, and have designed this one to replicate a real-world foot patrol through a marketplace, complete with interaction with local nationals. In theater, even the slightest thing can turn a situation ugly. I think this training is important, and uh, one of the things that I definitely stressed to my guys was to, to make it as realistic as possible. we got a lot of guys out here that have been deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan and other places. As the scenario unfolds, Sergeant Purchases and Sergeant Harlow's team replicate the chaos of combat in an environment that's safe for soldiers to apply their training and gain a head start for when it's time to deploy. Uh, the goal of the training today was to uh, give a realistic scenario that these guys would see over in Afghanistan. You just take those experiences, you bring them here, and it's very important for those guys, especially the E4 and below, or even some of the sergeants and staff sergeants who haven't been deployed yet, uh, to, to really kind of feel what they're going to get into when they go over there so they're not so blindsided. With. The satisfaction for these OCT and OP4 soldiers comes in knowing their hard work potentially saves the lives of fellow troops. This has been an awesome day. Um, Right down from the player unit to my op four to the safety aspects, uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. Reporting for the Army Reserve, I'm Specialist Benjamin Solaire, 222nd Broadcast Operations Detachment.